This is the story of a bowl, an ordinary bowl that might have just languished on store shelves had it not been given an extraordinary chance to express itself. Everyone likes to talk about the burp, right? I don't know if I can get it to burp. That's the letting out of the air. It's a quiet burp. It's a girl burp. The production process starts with plastic pellets brought by Railcar to the Tupperware plant in Hemingway, South Carolina. Basically, it's polypropylene, polyethylene, and a number of engineering grade resins. Each recipe or formula is built based on what we recommend to put into the resin. But this plastic doesn't go into production until it passes some very stringent tests. First, the spec test, where the pellets are analyzed on a light table. Then they have to pass another test, developed by Tupperware, that measures how the material retains. And then we also introduce a third element. We introduce any regrind or reclaim material to make sure that we use all the scrap that we generate during the production process. They do an initial run of a number of bowls, then use instruments to measure the color and clarity of the plastic, ensuring they've got just the right Tupperware hue. The pellets are then siphoned into the injection molding machines at the rate of about 80 pounds per hour. The seals undergo testing to see how well they'll survive in a scalding hot dishwasher. The Wonderlier bowl comes with a full lifetime warranty, but most aren't ever returned. In fact, they're passed on to the next generation.